10, but base 2. So observe, let's say we wanted to multiply 3 times 3, right? We know the answer is 9, obviously. Um, we go through the same process uh, where we're saying we start by 1 times 1, right? Which is 1. 1 times 1 is going to be 1. And then we move to the next digit, right? 1 times that 1 is going to be 1. Remember, there's a shift here. 1 times the other 1, we get 1, right? This is where I guess the, the stuff we're doing when we're adding numbers comes in handy. Remember those rules, right? When, when you're adding, we have four different like possibilities for addition rules, right? So we're gonna use these right now. So after you multiply, we're saying we want to add the result here. So it's, when we add one plus zero, it's gonna be one, right? One plus one, zero, and then we carry the one. And then we'll have two ones, so one plus one is gonna be another zero, we carry the one, and then we just drop down the one, right? Um, and then we end up with uh, eight plus one, which is nine, right? 